I'm Cheryl. I'd like to welcome you to working with unprocessed raw alpaca straight from the shearing bag. It's fun and it's easy and I'm here to show you how. All right, welcome to felting with alpaca fibre straight off the shearing and nothing to be done. This is actually what you see is one of the fleeces straight off the sh out of the shearing um, bag and what we're going to do is use that as it is. No processing, no nothing. Don't be frightened of it. From that pile, we we'll grab a handful about, about this big, just to hold in your hand. We we'll pull off a little bit here, because you wonder how we're going to get this nice and straight, don't you? So we just pull that little bit, and what we end up with is some nice fluffy ends to work with. With alpaca, you do need some uh, control mechanisms, and sometimes having a, a pattern to work to is really useful. So just like you do with wool, you lay it down, grab it and just flick it off. We don't want, this is just your normal wool felting technique, but we're using unprocessed, off the shearing alpaca. It's a lovely fibre to work with. You can see this is perhaps a little bit long than what we'd give to non-felters, but it works just as well. And I just wanted to show you that it was all possible. So again, just as you would with normal felting, that one's a bit thick, let's pull that a bit finer. And you can see I'm not laying it down heavily. And each time we end up with this little fluffy bit here that you can actually work with nicely. And we just go down, doing our normal overlapping layers. And I'll just do that very quickly. So if you've already, if you're not, if you already can do some felting, this is your basic felting technique. There's nothing specky about it. We need a little bit more. Here's some more off our bag. Pull that little bit to start with. And off we go again. So there's no, there's no brilliant things here. Don't worry about little pieces like this. They just fall out or you can pull them out. Sometimes you might have some grass seeds, but don't worry about those as well. Here's one here. You can pull those out if you want to, but they do tend to wash out. This fibre has not been washed because in felting, my belief is, and we'll just chuck that little bit away, get another bit, pull it to start. And I don't worry too much about getting it all nice and even. It actually works its way really well. You know, I was just saying about washing. You don't need to worry about washing it because washing happens so frequently, to be truthful, when it's being felted. Again, another handful. Just pull it to release. This one's from a slightly different part of the animal. And the wonderful thing about working with unprocessed fibre, every fleece is a surprise. So that's our first layer. Slightly different in, in um, amounts, in levels, but don't worry too much about that. We can, I'll show you how to fix that up. Again, and I'm being very quick here. Again, another handful, pull to release, and your next lot. In fact, this one's probably a bit, a bit too much there, but you'll get the idea. It's very fluffy, this one. Each fibre, each fleece that you pull out of the bag is separate. It's different. So it's like meeting a new friend each time. And it's just wonderful. It's so exciting. It's like, it's not, it's not a McDonald's. It's... It's like going down to a strange country town that you've never seen before and seeing, wow, different shops, different people. Even though that the essence of it is the same. Again, pull it to release. And what will I do is two layers. If I was going to make slippers or bags, I'd probably do three to six layers. But today we'll just do two, just to give you the general idea of what you can do. And up to the end. Now, you realise we had a thick and thin foot bit before, so all you do is actually put your hand on it, feel for a thin spot, there's a bit of a thin spot there, and we just lay some fibre over that thin spot. Again, this is all about feeling, listening to your hands, thinking about what they're telling you, and really ignoring what your eyes are saying. A bit of a thin spot there, and this is the fun of it. It works, alpaca works beautifully with 
all sorts of, uh, you can add fabrics to it. And I'm just being very rough. It evens itself out beautifully. Alright, so that's our base material. I'm going to add some colour to that, but what I'm going to do with our packet is wet it down first. And I use a spray bottle. Oh, just because it's quick and easy. You can use any method that you like to wet it down with. I like these because I can just set the knob, let the water run, and I don't have to worry too much. Alpaca, I believe, my work with alpaca tells me that it needs to be wetter than wool. My husband might disagree. And you'll find, you can see it's starting to bead. Because sometimes the, um, the fleece has been in the bag for a long time, it can get a bit hydrophobic. So a little bit of soap, and again, that might be a lot of soap in terms of wool, but for alpaca, this is unwashed alpaca, so we're working, we're cleaning it at the same time. I only use water in my spray bottle, not soap and water. And that's so I have a little bit more control over what I'm doing. Again, hard to get the ends, to get those sides done. Now to test, to actually make sure that I've got it, I just lift over the plastic or get another bit. The bubble wrap, this is bubble wrap, bubble sides up. Press it down, just to make sure the water goes all the way through. And as you can see, it comes out beautifully, this side. I've usually got another piece of um, bubble wrap that we can put over the top, but this works well. Now, I like to wet alpaca down before I put extra colour on it. And that reason is because alpaca is very hungry. It'll actually eat up all sorts of colours that you might put on there. This is just synthetic yarn. I kind of liked it because it looked like a tree. I like textural things. We'll kind of make a quick tree here. And I, use, I like to use wool on top. So this is wool that I've dyed. And I find wool, because it felts at a different rate to alpaca, it actually felts later. So alpaca will, will actually felt faster. You get interesting things happening in the tension between the two. So we'll just pull that out. It's a bit like leaves. You can probably only see it upside down from where you are. But it kind of looks like a bit of a bush. And what this will happen is you'll end up with a text, quite a textural um, thing happening because the wool won't be fully absorbed and nor will it be fully felted, but the alpaca will be. So the alpaca will do all the work and hold it. Just put a little bit up there. And we might do a couple of leaves as well, just because we can. So this is a different sort of wool. Just to sort of tuck it in there, just to show a bit of fair hints. So you can see how quick this is. Nothing, nothing's super about it. There we go. Just wet that down very quickly. Now, because we're using um, synthetic wool uh, yarn, I do get just this much here. Just, I don't know if you can just see that, but it's just a tiny bit. Just to put over it, which will help trap the yarns that you're using with the alpaca. Our pack will actually work it quite well, but even so, it never hurts. Just make certain. Oops. Okay. And we'll just push that down. So all I'm doing here is pressing the water through. Sometimes I'll use a piece of um, netting, which you can work through. And if, I, if my design is very intricate, I will certainly do a lot of this with the netting over the top, just to make sure it's all nicely set. But this is a sort of very rough and ready design, and we don't need to worry too much. 
and as you can see that's all wet through and what we'll do is we'll just roll it normally I'd perhaps use a different but just because we've got this one here and I like to use wood or just a piece of wood a piece of pipe works well too I just find it gives something to, a resist to work against and we're not too fast because this is a very rough and ready and we can tie that however you might then continue to roll it so once you, you just work it now as you would normally but with our packer truly it's about 10 minutes work to have this piece all ready to go so I'd just like to show you one that I've finished because we don't really have 10 minutes just to roll it and this is something similar so this is uh, just a similar piece of alpaca on the base as you can see I've actually dyed this one this is a dyed piece I've put um, organza in it and a bit of wool just for design and that's your finished product so enjoy working with alpaca so here's your finished piece of alpaca and as you'll see it's very easy to use don't be frightened of it have a go it was it'll save you so much time and effort and it'll be beautiful because alpaca is your partner in felting it is not your enemy and it is so wonderful to work with so have fun bye